Hi Watch Buddies. In today's video, we'll have a quick look at the stunning Tissot Sea Star 1000. Now this is the older model, but in my opinion, I think this is a superior one to the, the new model for a couple of reasons that we'll go into. It's extremely well built, really solid watch. You have the markers really nicely embossed on the bezel there. Super solid screw down crown with crown guards. You've got the helium escape valve. Nice exhibition case back. And the bracelet is typical Tissot, but very solid, brushed with polished centre links. A stamped clasp, which isn't great, but does the job. And it all feels extremely rugged and perfect for a tool watch. The dial is very interesting. The middle there recessed and a circular date window and the skeleton hands there look good with the trademark T on the second hand and the numbers are heavily painted with loom. Now this is a 42 mil diameter this watch. The thickness is 13 mil, lug to lug is 48 mil. Now obviously this has a screw down crown. Great smooth action. Let's check the bezel action out. It is a 60 click bezel and really annoyingly this particular model the bezel does not line up which is irritating every time you do it you think oh this time but of course it's never going to happen it just doesn't line up doesn't matter how many times you try it's never going to be there, it's just annoying, not a major thing, but it shouldn't happen on a Swiss made watch like this. What I do love about this watch is the chunky case and the texture you've got on the edges there with that almost ribbed look on the sides, lots of different textures going on with brushed and polished a really nice knurling on the crown polished where the logo is the lugs are brushed lots of different complex combinations just lends to this feeling of a very heavily textured rugged watch which I, I really do like about this. And again, those embossed markings on the bezel just makes it feel super tough. And you can see it gets a bit of patina on it, which is great for a watch like this. This is one of those watches that you want to wear and it doesn't matter if it gets knocked about a bit, it just adds to the character. And it is a super tough, well-made watch. Feels like it could take a lot of punishment. Now, going back to the, the new version here, it looks a lot more dressy. And what I don't like is the blue. It's very bright, too bright. And I don't like the bezel. We don't, it, they've lost that embossed, raised effect on the bezel and gone for this silver print which to me 
it doesn't look great because they those numbers are too large they don't really fit the bezel properly but there might be five other people maybe it's just me but it doesn't look good to my eye and um you see that the date has changed to the six o'clock position which is all right but I prefer the original one. So let's have a quick look, see how that wears on the wrist. Sits very well. Nice tight fit. No gaps underneath. Okay, so I'll show you what that looks like in the dark with that loom. And that's it for this one. That is the Tissot Seastar 1000, and I will leave you with some extra close-up shots. Thanks so much for watching. See you next time. Bye.